Hi there, plants lovers, and welcome to a new episode of our Plants Doctor series. Today we dive into the fascinating world of anthurians. These green friends are super beautiful and add a touch of elegance to any space. Also, they are one of my favorite plant families out there, so we won't waste any more time. Let's get started and learn how to care for these beautiful anthurium types. Let's start at the beginning. Anthurium plants are tropical plants that originate from South and Central America. They can be divided into two main groups, flowering anthurians and leaf anthurians. Today I will tell you all the ins and outs about this last group. The Anthurium crystallinum, Wadokianum, Clownervium and Silverblush are all part of the leaf group. Look at those striking leaves around me. Deep green, heart-shaped and amazing vines. I am a little obsessed, as you can see. And an extra bonus, Anthuriums are easy to care for. You just have to know the best way to take care of it and then this plant will shine for a long time. So, let's move on to some care tips. Anthurium plants prefer indirect bright light. In tropical rainforests, they are used to low or indirect sunlight as they grow in the shade of larger trees. Avoid spots with full direct sunlight as the intense sun can scorch the leaves. When choosing the perfect spot for your leaf anthuriums, consider rooms with east or north facing windows. These spots provide gentle morning or filtered light, which ideal for these plants. To promote even growth, turn your plant every fortnight. And for those of you with limited natural light in your homes, don't worry. You can still grow anthuriums by using grow lights. Watering your anthurium must be done with care. The roots of leaf anthuriums are thicker and more sensitive to root rot. The best way to see if your plants need water is to feel the soil 3 to 5 cm from the surface. If the soil feels dry, it's time to water. But if it feels moist, wait a few more days. With a moisture meter, you can also measure it better. It's also a good idea to check under the pot from time to time. If the soil near drainage holes is wet, leave your plant alone and don't rush watering. Watering can be done from the top or from the bottom. Tip from me, after watering, always check that no water gathers in your pot. It's no secret that anthuriums love warm temperatures. Anthuriums thrive at temperatures between 60 and 24 degrees Celsius. Their minimum temperature tolerance is 10 degrees Celsius. Keep it away from open windows and doors, as sudden change in temperature can stress it out. As the anthurium is a tropical plant, they love high humidity. The ideal level of air humidity is between 50 and 17 percent. Their semi-waxy leaves help them tolerate lower levels of humidity, so they usually do fine with average home humidity. If the humidity level in your home is too low, you can increase the humidity around the plant by misting the leaves with a water or placing a humidifier nearby. To keep your anthuriums healthy and blooming, you can feed it once a month during spring and summer. Since the plant is not actively growing during winter, fertilizing is unnecessary. When fertilizing, it's best to add liquid fertilizer to the water. For best results, use plant nutrition. Let's move on to the fun part, making more anthurium babies. There are a few different ways to propagate anthuriums, for example, head cuttings. The stem of an anthurium is just above the soil, and many leaf stalks are growing out of it. It usually has some brown and dried leaf-like parts on it. Choose a healthy stem and cut the stem just below a leaf node. If needed, remove the bottom leaves and dip the cutting into rooting powder that stimulates root growth. Place your new head cutting into a pot filled with well-drained potting mix or so. Water it well and regularly. You can also put a plastic bag above it to increase humidity around cuttings, as they are sensitive to plant stress. Place the pot in a warm, well-lit location out of direct sunlight. A south face window is a good choice. If you want to know more ways of propagating your anthurium, I'd advise you to check out our Plant Doctor Care page about anthuriums where we give you a step-by-step -step guide about propagating by division. Despite their resilience, anthuriums can face some issues. 
Yellowing leaves usually indicate overwatering, while brown edges might be a sign of underwatering or low humidity. Pests can also be a problem. The main pests and diseases that can affect your ethereum are mealybugs, aphids, trips, scale insects and spider mites. If you think your plant has some sort of pest, check out our Plants Doctor page about pests or watch our latest video about pest control. And there you have it, a super handy care guide for anthurium houseplants. Remember to give them proper lighting, water them well, keep them at the right temperature and humidity to ensure their health and beauty. If you have any questions or need further assistance, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Plants Doctor for more plant care tips. Happy growing!